So there's a lot of confusion right now, ever since I uploaded that video last week about the firmware 6.1's ISO and dynamic range. Maybe I can try and show you guys some more explanation and examples to make you understand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say two shooters are shooting one subject. We have shooter A here, we'll just call him Pete. So Pete believes that shooting with the Pocket 4K in RAW, the ISO is just metadata, meaning you can change it around, it doesn't really matter what happens. So this is Pete right here on the left. And this is gonna be me on the right. So we're shooting a subject, the same subject with two Pocket 4Ks. Pete says, okay, I'm gonna expose for her face. Got it. I don't care about the ISO because the ISO is a metadata. It doesn't matter what I'm capturing in RAW. RAW is just metadata ISO. I can change that in post and it doesn't matter. But me, I looked at the Pocket 4K manual and it said that the dynamic range is distributed differently in different ISOs. So I see in the background that there's highlights back here, the clouds. I don't wanna blow that out. So I'm gonna expose for the face and make sure that that highlights don't blow out. So I choose the native ISO of 400. So I set the camera to 400 and expose for her face. 400, is gonna be bright so I have to stop down, okay? So shot A is gonna have more depth of field because Pete shot at ISO 100 and he had to open up the iris. Me, I had to stop down because ISO 400 is pretty high, right? So I had to stop down so the depth of field is not as good as Pete. Perfect, we got the shots and now we're sending it to the colorist. So the colorist got these files and he opened it up in DaVinci Resolve 15.2.4, which just came out recently, so make sure you download this version. So he's looking at these two shots. So we got here Pete, he's looking at Pete's shot, and he's looking at the waveform. Why did Pete clip that highlight in the background? And Pete says, nah, it's just, it's raw. It's raw, just, you know, go to 400. It's the same as shooting as 400, okay? You know, just drop the exposure down. Cool, it's just metadata. Let's go ahead and compare it to what I shot. You see this right here? Does that look clipped to you? No. We go to Pete, that data is clipped. Highlights is blown out. And this is just raw. We haven't even converted this to Rec. 709. Pete pretty much clipped that highlights because he shot at 100 ISO. And according to the manual, doesn't have that much dynamic range on the top. It has less dynamic range than 400 on the top end of things. So let's go ahead real quick and convert these to extended video and see what they look like. Without the highlight recoveries, I'm gonna turn that off. And we're only gonna turn, we're gonna go ahead and zero this out. We are gonna turn extended video right here. And we're gonna turn on extended video right here. Pete's clip, my clip, right? Very subtle, but if this was a high dynamic range setting, Pete would have lost a lot more data. This is clouds, guys. This is just clouds. This is an overcast day. Imagine if that was the sun. It was a sunny day. Pete would have lost a lot more data. So I really hope that clears out some confusion out there still. I know a lot of people are stubborn with learning new things, and that's the problem. Now I've shot reds before, and yes, ISO is made of data. You capture one thing and that's it. But the Pocket 4K, I'm telling you right now, and I'm showing you right now, it's different. So you have to be very careful when choosing your ISO.